know that this is the premier sporting and entertainment event of the New Haven calendar year. And actually, I would say in the Northeast, the calendar year. Yes, thank you. More smattering. It's so beautiful. And what has become an important part, yes, we love to bring in the superstars. We like to bring in the big names of the game. We like to bring in the people that make tennis what it is. And I think when we think of what tennis is in 2011, not only what it is, what we want it to be, I think of two words that form a name. Put your hands together for Mr. Wayne Bryan. In the house, y'all. Yeah, give it to me down low, my brother. Oh. oh, it is so good to see you. Well, how you doing, Bruce? I am doing so well. How are you? If somebody would give me a decent applause, I'll give you a t-shirt. This is Wayne Bryan. This lady in the white hat, come forward, you get a t-shirt, come on. Oh man, how do we you got get t-shirts? We got a male model here, <laughs> giving them away. Yeah, he's a good looking man, Matt, isn't he? Who else was clapping good for Coach Brian? The dude back there in the lime green, come on forward. Come this forward. is beautiful. This kid right here, come forward. Wow, look at this, we are clothing New Haven right that's now. That's right, that's right. And uh, here's a little, um, a little tip. You're wearing the dark shirt, dude. You gotta lighten up, cause you're gonna get too hot. Yeah, you're kind of middle ground. He's got the dark shirt. Now he's all set. This is beautiful. This is the biggest crowd I've seen all year. There's Isn't gonna this be great? at least 33, 34 people here. Yes. What do you think? This is, you know, these are big numbers for lunch <laughs> with Bruce. Let me tell you. Uh, and I like it that way, Wayne. I like a small, intimate crowd. How many years you've been doing this? I have been doing this. I can't even count. I mean, I've been, I've, I've been coming here every summer since 1990. It must pay well. It pays nothing. Which is, <laughs> so let me tell you something. But did they I give am, you the flowers after the gig? Or? I get, well, you know what I get? I get uh, $9 in lunch script. Yeah. And I get uh, four tickets for the week. These palms are worth 14 or 15 bucks for sure. And I get some Home Depot. I, these are coming home with me. I like these. I have to demand these. What are we talking about here? Well, what I'd like to know <laughs> is what you think of the field this year. You see it every year. Uh, it's it, Look, at, I'm, I'm a tennis fan, but I wanted a real expert, the coach. It seems like we've got just a phenomenal field this year in particular. To be truthful, a lot of them just fell out of like mana from heaven, you know? A lot of wild cards are playing. we got the number one player in the world, Caroline Wild. Niaki, who's fabulous to watch. Yes, She's yes. Wanted, go ahead and clap. Guest yesterday on Lunch with Bruce. Lady in the turquoise, come get a t-shirt. Nice clapping. Oh, yeah. see? That's beautiful. Um, and she's won it three years in a row. Mm -hmm. The great Russian uh, Svetlana Kuznetsova, who's won, of course, the U.S. Open and the French, is playing. The great Italian who's led Italy to the Fed Cup champions the last two years in a row, Francesca Schiavone, who will be coming up here. She's going to be a guest right here right? at Lunch with Bruce. So it's an, it's an incredible field, and uh, I'm fired up to be, I guess, and so they might have had one field better, but it's right up there with one of the best fields ever at New Haven. That is fantastic. How about you? Uh, now, you, you probably can't show favoritism, but do you have uh, any upcoming matches that you would advise our friends here at Lunch with Bruce <coughs> to, um, to pay attention to? Gosh, each and every match I love. I like watching this young lady, um, Maria Kirilenko, mm -hmm. from Russia. Eye candy. Beautiful girl. <laughs> Those are two of our favorite words. Yeah, from Eye Moscow. Eye candy, thank you. Yes. Give the man in the black a t-shirt. Nice clapping. Yes, and if uh, some of the uh, beautiful women that are playing uh, tennis here this week are eye candy, uh, what would that make us? Like eye dumpsters? Well, I think anybody wearing <laughs> eye sores. <laughs> Actually, right here, yes. Thank you very much. First Niagara representing, and they have just coined the term eyesores. I, I hate when the crowd's funnier than we are. I really despise that, and it's not tough. Does Bruce's you. shirt make your mouth water? Do you feel a little bit like you're eating a lemon when you look at that? Give this lady Thank a t-shirt. Come forward, yes, man. Yes, beautiful. Thank you for applauding my attempt at being colorful. I'm not even letting Bruce get a word in edgewise. Go ahead. But that's how I like it, Wayne Bryan. <laughs> uh, how are the boys doing, by the way? They're great. They're playing a big gig in Atlanta tonight for 65000 and they don't even have to play tennis. You're kidding me. No. Wow. 
What did, so this so your sons are the Bryan brothers. They're they have very a Bryan brothers band. Yeah. You're very musical. Yeah. Now what's this gig? Tell me about well, it. Well, they're playing for charity down there in Atlanta, and uh, they're making a few dollars. And uh, Michael Johns, the great man from uh, American Idol, mm -hmm. third place a couple years ago, is playing with them. A man named James Slater, a singer songwriter from Nashville, is playing, and Jim Bogios, the uh, the drummer for Counting Crows. So like. Dolores' son, they like to play with great musicians. You know, we should get uh, Matchbox 20 to play with them. I mean, I, I, we would love it, because I know her son likes to... By the way, Dolores just turned 35 this year, and she's the best 35 and over in New England. Turn around and face the audience. Yes, please, take a bow, Dolores. Yes, happy birthday. Let's happy birthday to you. I didn't say it was her birthday. I said she just happy turned... Whenever it was. I'd like to give this young lady in the pink hat a T-shirt. Come forward. Nice clapping. Wow. Nice clapping. Man, you know, Wayne, I, I know you're popular on your own, but you become much more popular when you give away t-shirts, I've noticed. Exactly. exactly. What would you owe your in popularity fact, young to lady at the New Haven Open? The young lady in the white is giving me a standing ovation. Give her a t-shirt. There we go. Standing See, ovation. Standing yes, you. Ovation. Thank you. Actually, I didn't want to tell you this, but she was walking out <laughs> on lunch with Bruce. I'll tell all the jokes, Bruce. Come they, on. Uh, they, they actually, you know, uh, they like to release the numbers for the tournament, like what the attendance is. Yeah. They are now also listing in the New Haven Register the walkouts from lunch with Bruce. I and like uh, yesterday we were at 54. And we're hoping to break that number today. Oh, Bruce is great. Give him a hand. Isn't he awesome, oh, everybody? Thank you. Such a nice guy, such Please. a funny guy. Thank you so much. And that lime green shirt, I saw three of them yesterday at Walmart. You can get three of these shirts for $9.95. I also wanted to mention uh, reallifesurvivalguide.com, just to throw that in there. That's my website. and uh, it Does is, that uh, pay well? It uh, pays me nothing. <laughs> I'm making absolutely nothing from that. Nothing from lunch with Bruce. What do you do? Sell plants and I sell have a palms? doctor for a wife. Wow. You have a doctor for a yes, wife. Yes, I do. Why are you doing this at all? Exactly. Could we have some applause for my <laughs> wife, the doctor? Yes. Dr. Karen Jubinick Barber. Is she around? Is she here? We should get her a t-shirt. The dude in the blue hat gets a t-shirt. You get a t-shirt, my friend. Is your wife literally here? She is. She'll be stopping by later. She didn't want to see me, but she wanted to see uh, French Francesca Schiavone. I'd like to give the man in the pink pants a t-shirt. How about a hand for the gentleman with the pink pants? Yes, pants? give him a nice round of applause. When if the weather wore, gets a little cooler, you'll have the t-shirt now. If you wore those pants in California, they'd take you out and stone you to death, you know? Only only in New England you could get away with it. Now, are in those, fact, I'd love to see that with your shirt. I could make that work. <laughs> now, are those considered the Nantucket Reds? Yeah, that is old school really? New England. Yet yeah, the, the story with that color is yeah. the sailors would have these red pants and they would... Um, Go to sea. They would go to sea and they'd wash them out in the seawater and hang them off the sailboat, right? And they'd dry out and then they'd get that great shade of pink. Yes, Nantucket Red. Applaud the Nantucket Red. Give me my red. hand. Is that the is right that true? Here? Yes. No, it's true. Right. See, Wayne. Wow. Lunch with Bruce. I'm going to write this down. Would somebody write this down so I can take that home with me? Yeah, I am a font of knowledge. Ooh. I am the Wikipedia of the Connecticut Tennis Center. And take a look, we're up to 67 people now. There we go, walkout's now 67 <laughs> at lunch with Bruce. So, um, coming up in just a few moments, we have Francesca, is it Francesca or Francesca? Fra no, Francesca Schiavone? Yes. Francesca Schiavone, world number eight. One-handed backhand, rips it, great forehand. She had a terrific match in Montreal a couple of nights ago, a great three-setter. She's Won the French last year, was that? And then finalist yes. 2011? Yeah. Lost well, you know to Lina, tennis. who was here right. at uh, lunch with Bruce yesterday. Yeah. Did anybody see uh, Lina here yesterday? Just again, here I go promoting again. Uh, live from CT.com, my friend Gary here has posted the interview we did with Li Na, which actually includes, yes, me translating Chinese. I kid you not. So go to, when you go home today, uh, look that up. And we also have our interview, Lunch with Bruce, with Caroline Wozniacki, number in, one in the world. But the other interview is in Chinese? Well, we had a, a young woman from Beijing who wanted to oh. ask a question. It was a bit of a setup. What happened was she came up. I said, what question are you going to ask? She said, what should a young teenage player be doing? I said, I said, when she comes up, ask the question. I'll make like I can understand Chinese and translate. Oh. So I said, let me translate. 
and she speaks the question right here in, in Chinese and I said uh, she wants to know like what a young teenage tennis player should and Lee Na was like looked at me like wow that's impressive said, give Bruce a hand everybody thank bilingual. you very much thank you very bilingual. much bilingual so lunch with Bruce for Monday Wayne Bryan give him nice a round of applause for being with us thank you so thank much thank you buddy and coming up in just a few moments Francesca Schiavoni right here one last applause who wants the last t-shirt who wants it coach Bryan Coach Brian, keep clapping. Back here. The nice lady in the pink shirt right here. Thank you, Bruce. All right, thank you, Wayne. That's great.